Cade Moore with Fly Fish Food here. By now you guys are all familiar with the Jig Streamer. Here's my personal go-to. It's tied with a couple awesome materials. Check it out, here's the Sculpin Tan Jig Streamer. All right, let's get started tying this up. We're gonna start off with the Jig Force in size 10 from Foley Mill, and then just a four millimeter bead. And we'll start stringing that up with some brown thread. You can use six dot, eight dot, dark brown, light brown, whatever you'd like, work out just fine. So we're gonna start creating a little thread dam right behind the bead. We're gonna lock that in real quick. And then we're gonna work down the shank. Next material we're gonna tie down in is gonna be the Fish Hunter Marabou in Sculpin Tan. Really awesome material here. Really good color. I like to tie my tails in really long, a little bit full, wet that a little bit. And you'll see it's just gonna be a big bushy little mess here, but it gives a lot of movement in the water. Wet my fingers here a little bit. And I'll tie that in and start working up towards the bead. And when we get close, we'll come in now and cut that off. We'll cinch that down. I like to work back down. And sometimes on these tails, I like to work down the shank just a little bit. Helps reduce fouling just a tiny bit. All right, next material we're gonna throw in, awesome color, is this uh, UV gold, medium chenille. Awesome material, very vibrant, really good flash to it. I'll tie that in and work back towards the bead here. And then we'll start wrapping this on. On this material, what I like to do, since it's a little longer, I like to preen those back and hold that as I work up towards the front. So it creates a really nice full body that's gonna have a lot of movement in the water. So that's why I like doing it like this. Doesn't trap any fibers down. Gives it a lot of volume. We're gonna work that right behind the bead there. We're gonna tie that in real quick. Trim off our excess, and then we're gonna pull all of those fibers back. And create a little brown collar right here. We'll also push those materials back quite a bit. Oh. Throw in a couple turn whip finish right here. And then you could throw on some super glue to make this thing bomb proof. But there you go. 